Hello beautiful, amazing, fantastic people. This is Lisa from Dana August Nails and welcome back to the channel. Let's hop into the watch me work. Okay, so these are my sissy's hands, my older sister. I've already prepped and shaped and done all the really fabulous stuff. And um, this is an acrylic set today and not just any acrylic set. Oh no, oh no. This is a not Polish acrylic set. So I am going in with tiny beads of clear um, from not Polish as my clear base between, you know, colored pigments and uh, the natural nail. And I think this is my Hermanos <laughs> brush gifted to me. I tried to find it on Amazon. Couldn't find the exact one, but the brand's still very much out there um, that I'm using to apply. So I'm taking very wet beads. Sometimes I do two, sometimes I do just the one. Very thin layer, they're quite small. And again, just trying to protect the natural nail from any other pigmented colors. So I do this on all 10 of the nails. And then, and then, and then, I'm coming in with my Nat Polish Nude Panther. Um, even though these are short nails, yo, multiple beads, am I right? So I did the first one just where the natural nail and the um, tip meet, second one just a little bit below the uh, cuticle area. And then the third one is just at the cuticle area. As you can see, I'm tilting the finger downwards. I am pat, pat, pat pulling from center to sidewall and then back to center to sidewall and then pat, pat pulling as well. Now, um, powders set quite quick cur here. Um, the polymerization of it all, cause it, the Bahamas is hot, yo. Do you feel me? It is hot. I, I can't. So it's very important to um, work as quickly as you can. Um, maybe cool down your monomer if you want to, but then because I work with wet beads, it would just be cooling down the monomer would just make it even slower. Using wet beads does slow down the process. So um, here I am just adding beads where I see that there's an unevenness in the tone, not, not Polish's fault, actually my fault. I did not stir the jars or shake them. As well as, you know, I'm still working my relationship out with these um, acrylics. They are buttery. Yes, they are, but um, there's still a learning curve, like with everything. So I'm gonna do that on the pinky, the middle, and the thumb, as you can see. Um, my sister was like oval, and I don't know who she thinks she is because you don't pay me for these nails. You get what I give you. So we got a square. Do you, you see what I'm saying? My sister also braids um, hair. Like, she braids my daughter's hair. That's, like, the exchange that we do. Like, we exchange uh, services. So she does like to keep her nails short so that she can, um, you know, braid the hair and everything. So I did have to go a little bit longer. I was I was pushing it, though. I wanted them to be longer. <laughs> I did. I did want them to be longer. So we had a little bit of a mishap. My sister has very wide thumbnails. The, you know... The tips I had didn't go as as big. I, I got to work on that. So I ended up having to use a bit of clear to sort of build up the area where the tips didn't touch. And this is what I recommend doing if you cannot find a tip that is bigger. Like right where I'm applying that acrylic just now in that corner is where I built up the rest of like an imaginary tip with some clear. As opposed to using a tip that's too small, you either get something that's bigger, not smaller, or you sculpt you know, a free edge, you know, on a form, or you do what I did, which was just sculpting on air. Um, but you do not try to like, I've seen people like over file, it's happened to me. I've seen people like over file someone's natural nail. And then you just go and you notice that your nail is very unbalanced. There's like a whole chunk missing off the left side, but the right side looks normal. It's just, it's an ordeal is what it is. So I do clear cap nude panther and then really build up the rest of the structure, but these are very thin nails, so there's not much of an apex needed. So now I'm coming in with Nightcap. Um, this is from their OMG glitter collection. Oh man, I remember when this released and then I joined that competition to freaking name them because then you get like a free, like the full free set. I didn't win, but whatever, it all works out in the end. So I was able to grab, to snag these up in a few mystery boxes. And I will, you know, happy to say I'm, I almost have all the collections. So um, I am obviously covering the full nail. And oh, I love the jelly acrylic that's, you know, mixed in with this glitter. This is such a, it's like, I know you buy glitter and you're like, oh, I can make that color. I don't need to buy that. Sometimes you can and sometimes you cannot. And let me tell you something. This is one of those times where I was like, thank goodness it's already in a jar. Not polished, be looking out, out. 
Also, though, peep, peep the metallic, like, chrome red cats. She has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. She has arrived. Yes, she has. Um, listen, my best friend Jennifer, nail sister, 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 family, she would have me convert to not polish right away if she could. She's She is working very, very hard on that. <laughs> Between her... And, um, y'all know Envy, right? From Nails by Envy. Yeah. Okay. You, her too. Her too. But, um, yeah, I'm happy to, to have, um, you know, people that have testimonies of how great the products are. So I still have this acrylic set that I did on my hand. You guys, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to make a video. Boom. That's also going to be with acrylic and I'm going to show more acrylic on here for you guys because this is how I started how do I get lost in the gel sauce I don't even know so I did clear cap nightcap and then clear cap nightcap ah, look at that. not polished joke you had to be there um so <laughs> I clear cap the nails waited for them to set and as you can see keeping them super thin but you know there is an apex right there babies and I'm so happy with my application can we say can we say minimal block um bulking can we say no spillage on the side can we say she she's she's on her way plane tickets are bought and she's on she's almost arriving to where she needs to i think so um so i'm taking my five and one pan a bit this is the course i think i've got this at four thousand rpms and i'm just you know cuticle area taking very minimal bits of bulking off of there and then i go in with my um sanding band and I really go in with this to make that cuticle area nice and flush and then just really balance off the nail. Um, I do take um, a hand file to this and this is my sister's hand file that I store in as disinfect store in a Ziploc baggie for her. And this is just me trying to taper in those sidewalls and really just a bit more to the balancing. I'm happy to say that filing did not take forever in a thousand years, but my sister did want me to take down the nails a bit. So I did have to go in with the five and one and like take down a considerable amount to make them shorter than they look. That's the only reason why filing would have taken so long. Um, but a normal filing routine, have I ever had one? I've not. I've not had one. So this is where, um, you know, I guess we've sort of figured out the lane she wants and I'm just tackling that free edge. Yes. So now I have mixed several colors, model ones, 18, 14 and solid cream. And I think I mixed them with, oh, 8008, which is also a model one's color. Um, so we're going to do, um, you know, like a pink, hot, hot, hot pink, um, French. And as you can see, I did a straight line from corner to corner, and then I did a straight line across, and then I curved them to join them together. And now I'm using my McCart gel brush with a rounded tip to apply this solid gel cream gel polish mix, which is the consistency I like to work. Not too runny, not too stiff. I did do two coats of this. Um, I cured for a full 99 seconds in between. And... Um, you know, this is this is getting ready to do our um, croc print. So as you can see, I am applying some matte top coat on the surface of all those French nails. Um, and then I cure for a full 60 seconds, sealing in that edge. And then I'm taking that same mixture again. And this is like one of my um, Mareka brushes. I'm just going in with another, uh, with the, you know, the details for the croc print. So mine is, this is the smallest crock print I've ever had to do. So in an essence, the look itself, the effect itself has sort of kind of changed because, you know, this, the scales and the, the actual different sizes of those patches on the crock, like they create a different look to it. So, um, I just, you know, apply those patches, um, as I see fit across the nails. And this was, I love, let me tell you something. I love the fact that this was so tiny and so dainty and so cute. And I will not confess this to my sister because she don't think she did something like she was about something when she was like, Oh, shorten it. Mm. It actually looks really cute. And I will never admit it to her. And she better not watch this video. Um, <laughs> so as I'm doing this, I've not cured the nails. I have not I'm taking my little cuticle pusher. Um, and I am taking not polishes clear, 
and I'm just pouring and pouring and pouring and I'm waiting for the shininess of the polish to sort of disappear and for it to become fully matte and sometimes you have to keep doing this because you want this to soak all the way into the polish um, because if you don't wait for that matte look and you don't wait to see all the shine disappear then you won't have the effect dusting it off throwing it in the lamp for a full two minutes and then I take a scrub brush and really just dust away all of that and that is how I did the crock front ladies and gents um, she was like, are you gonna put matte top coat on top of it? No, I'm gonna ruin the look. Just, just, who, who's doing whose nail? Can we just stop? I'm doing your nails. Goodness. Boundaries had to be, you know, lines had to be drawn. Not blurry ones, but quite clear ones. I have to draw those same lines all the time. You know what? Nail techs make the most challenging clients. I will tell you what. Um, so here I am top coating with nail polish. It's glass it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I have joined this cult. I'm fully committed. I have no money to offer them. You know what I mean? Like, you know, people be selling their houses and like moving into this compound. I'm not there yet. They're there. But I mean, like it's something has started. It has begun. It is time. Do you know what I mean? So top coated nightcap with the gloss it. Oh, I love it. It's so lush. It's so thick. And I went in the lamp for a full 60 seconds. So top coat time means it's the end of the video, you guys. I love you guys for watching. Here's a video and finished um, look of the finished look video and picture. Uh, don't look for a product list. I'm sure you guys can find your way to not polish. But if you really want to know some in detail stuff, hit me up in the comment section. I love you guys for not abandoning me like I abandoned the product list in the description box. <laughs> I love you guys for watching. I promise to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.